Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. It's wonderful to meet and study the Word of God and to be encouraged by the Word of God, to be inspired and challenged by the Word of God as well. And today we are looking at the different ways by which we as believers can minister healing because that's what God desires for us. He desires that we walk in power, we walk in signs and wonders and miracles, that we do the same things that Jesus did, even as we minister, even as we share the gospel. Um, so we see that one of the ways by which we can minister uh, healing is through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Um, when we look at 1 Corinthians 12, the verses 7 to 12 um, in 1 Corinthians 12, list down the various gifts of the Holy Spirit. And we see gifts like the word of knowledge, we see gifts like faith, we see the gifts of healing and working of miracles, all these mentioned here. So these, um, these gifts of the Spirit bring about healing, um, bring about a miracle that is needed in a person. Um, and we see that uh, it could be a combination of these gifts. It could be a word of knowledge, um, informing or calling out that condition in a person uh, and, and accompanied by the gifts of healings, bringing about the change. Or maybe it's a, a, a gift of miracle uh, is required, working of miracle is required and uh, that is brought about again. And maybe uh, it requires a gift of faith to operate, great faith to operate in order to um, bring about that change in a person's body. So uh, it works in combination and it could work uh, uh, separately as well. But we see that uh, God works through this, um, through the gifts of the Spirit. We see that the gifts of the Spirit are really a manifestation of the Spirit, an expression of the Spirit. So what do these gifts uh, and the manifestation, expression of the Spirit, what do they tell us? They actually tell us what God's will is when it comes to these kind of conditions or these kinds of sicknesses. They tell us that God is interested. They tell us that God wants to heal, that God cares for that person. So it's really the manif manifestation, meaning the expression of the presence, the power, um, the desire, the will of God um, uh, uh, for that person, right? So uh, this is what we need to do on our part. We need to desire spiritual gifts, which is what we see in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 1, where Paul writes and he says, pursue love and desire spiritual gifts. And the word desire in the Greek means strong desire, be zealous for spiritual gifts. So the question for us is, how zealous are we for spiritual gifts? It's not something wrong to be zealous for spiritual gifts. In fact, it is scriptural to be zealous. But why do we do this? You know, we, when we look at 1 Corinthians um, 12 and verse 7, this is what it says. It says, the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. So it is for the profit of all, it is for the edification, it is for blessing another person. And therefore it is scriptural, we must desire these spiritual gifts. We must desire that these gifts be manifest, that the expression of the Holy Spirit is there and, uh, and bringing about healing uh, in a person. So as we minister in healing, uh, we can desire for these gifts of the Spirit to be manifest. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you that, uh, Lord, uh, we, you have designed so wonderfully, O oh God, these things in the body of Christ. We thank you, Lord, that uh, these gifts of the Spirit are an expression of your Spirit, uh, an manifestation of the Spirit, a tangible outworking of the Holy Spirit. And so, Lord, we thank you that uh, you choose to do this in us and you choose to do this, Lord, through us, O oh Father God so that people might be blessed, so that uh, it is for the profit of all, benefit of all. And Lord, we pray that we will have the same heart of humility, even as we press in for more of your gifts, even as we press in and desire the, the outworking of your gifts in us and through us, Lord. Um, yes, Lord, we, we just want to do that. And uh, we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory at this time. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.